Welcome fellow Linux gamers, my name is GhostQuad57 and today I'm reviewing Shovel Knight by Yacht Club Games. Shovel Knight, in case you've been living under a yacht and haven't heard of this game, is a 2D side-scrolling platformer. In Shovel Knight you play as, well, Shovel Knight, that's who that knight with the shovel is in case you couldn't tell. Armed with your trusty shovel you must fight through the order of no quarters in an effort to reach the Tower of Fate battle the evil enchantress and rescue shield knight. Shovel Knight is a callback to NES platformers. Its mechanics can easily be traced back to games like Super Mario, Mega Man, Castlevania, Zelda 2, and even DuckTales. Shovel Knight emulates the feel of classic platformers perfectly. The character's momentum when stopping, the jumping physics, and the amazing chiptune soundtrack performed by Jake Kaufman with contributions from Mega Man composer Manami Matsume really give the feeling that the developers really cared for what they made and wanted to make sure that even the tiniest detail was covered. They even limited the art style to the NES's color palette and animation count. Did I mention how good the game feels? Platforming is challenging and has just the right amount of weight to it, and bouncing on top of enemies' heads with the downward attack feels incredibly satisfying. There are many secrets hidden throughout the levels of Shovel Knight. You can find hidden merchants, music sheets, and treasure chests. Chests that spew glorious 8-bit treasures. Treasure can also be obtained by killing enemies, digging up piles, and even certain dirt blocks will drop treasures. Once you reach the first town, you can give the music sheets that you found to the bard. He'll pay you for the music sheets and he'll also play songs at your request. More sheets equals more songs unlocked. While at town, you can also purchase upgrades. Upgrades that increase your maximum health points and magic points. You can buy secondary items, items like this bouncing death ball, that can be used at a cost of MP. And once you reach the town armor outpost, you can buy new armor, each with their own special properties, and also buy shovel techniques, which will give you new attacks. You have infinite lives, and the only penalties for dying is being sent back to the nearest checkpoint, and you lose a portion of your treasure. However, you can return to the area you died in and recover your treasure by collecting the floating sacks. Geet. Speaking of dying, you'll be doing a lot of it by the time you reach your first boss. Bosses in this game can be difficult, with each requiring you to study and learn their patterns. The bosses are a great refresher. Playing through the stages, I find myself wondering what type of boss the game was going to throw at me next and how I would deal with him. In closing, Yacht Club Games did a fantastic job with Shovel Knight. I completely recommend this game for fans of platformers. Shovel Knight is available on a plethora of platforms, Linux, Mac OS X, Windows, Wii U, 3DS, Xbox One, PS3, PS4, and even the PS Vita. If you're looking to buy Shovel Knight for PC, you can purchase the game from Yacht Club Games' official website, which comes with a DRM-free copy as well as a key for the Steam version. At only $15, I highly recommend this game. Thank you guys for watching. This has been GhostSquad57, signing out.